There are times Crystal Ellingson's classroom is so full, she barely has room to walk between the desks. The substitute teacher in the Halifax area says it's a familiar scene as more classrooms go above provincial caps on the number of students. After years of sinking enrollment, the province is suddenly facing a new problem, too many students. Our record population growth is putting pressures on the education system. Here's what that looks like. In the Halifax area, 8,000 students have been added to schools in the last five years alone. That's enough to fill 300 classrooms. Across the province, there were 9,700 more students last school year than eight years ago. That rapid growth means we need new schools, six of which are either built, under construction, or slated to open next year in Halifax. It's all part of the province's $1 billion capital plan to address the bigger student population. And while new schools are part of the longer term plan, modular classrooms are on tap for the short term. But last school year, some classrooms were still going above mandated caps. Crystal Ellingson says that means some students are falling through the cracks. There's no way a teacher can give everybody what they need. Without the student-teacher ratio being more reasonable, nobody's, nobody's set up to, to win at this. Nova Scotia's education minister says the key to keeping class sizes lower is hiring more teachers. So I think it's important to recognize that we continue to add uh, teachers to our system to address growth needs. So for example, last year, over 100 new classroom teachers were added um, to support the growth of, um, of student populations. And that we continue to do that. Um, and we continue to increase our, our resources and our budget um, for education to make sure that we have those supports in place. There are now 10,000 teachers across the province. The government has also formed a working group whose job it is to recruit and retain teachers and other staff. Work with the members a huge driver of Nova Scotia's population growth is immigration. Schools are filling up with children who speak languages other than English and French. That has posed a challenge for teachers who have to find ways to manage the language barriers. A lot of it is, is using maybe um, technology to help translate. I've also heard of students having to, to act as translators, which isn't their job. And, and so again, I think th that shows um, just the holes in the system. Um, that again, we're, we're here before this really, um, you know, increase in immigration and increase in population growth. And now those gaps are just getting worse. Rural areas of the province are becoming more diverse too. The So Shore school system went from having 50 ESL teachers two years ago to 150 this year. And the sheer size of some rural school districts are posing a challenge for ESL teachers who have to travel to schools throughout them. The minister says the government has expanded its virtual translation services to help those in rural areas. And 60 ESL teachers have been hired in the last few years bringing the total number up to 100 across the system. Nova Scotia's growth also means big changes in how we prepare for the future. Officials with the Halifax school system say more students are arriving throughout the school year than ever before. Especially with Halifax's population boom, planners are having to change the way they calculate how many students are coming from nearby apartments because more families find themselves in apartments. The task for policymakers now is getting ahead of the growth.